Hi, it's Alex from Android Central. Today we're going to take a look at a couple of new high-end Android phones. One recently launched, one soon to be launched. So here we've got the new HTC One and the Sony Xperia Z, new flagships from HTC and Sony, and two really different devices. In terms of just the physical size alone, uh, you can see the Xperia Z is a good deal larger, it's got a 5 inch screen compared to the HTC One's 4.7, and it's a lot chunkier too. HTC has this tapered back, whereas everything's a lot more squared off on the Xperia Z. Materials are very different too. Uh, Sony has this glass backed construction with soft touch plastic around the sides, and HTC's gone with an aluminium unibody instead. The Xperia Z is a nice looking phone, but I think uh, HTC wins on build quality and the unibody design uh, really is that good. Sony's got a few extra things going for it though. Um, the Xperia Z is fully waterproof, and you also get expandable storage via micro SD card, and that's something HTC isn't offering. The screens themselves are both 1080p panels, Sony's is the standard LCD that's calling a full HD reality display, uh, HTC's got its Super LCD 3. The Xperia Z has the size advantage, but overall quality is better on the HTC One. Colours are a bit more vivid and viewing angles are far superior, there's also less washout at high brightness levels on the HTC One. So on the HTC One you've got these crazy and extremely loud and bassy boom sound speakers on the front as opposed to the side speaker on the Xperia Z. The speaker on the Z isn't actually bad and it's got xLoud software to improve its volume but it's nowhere near what HTC offers. On the inside HTC takes the lead too. The HTC One has a Snapdragon 600 chip powering it whereas the Xperia Z runs a slightly older Snapdragon S4 Pro and going from one to the other you'll see a slight performance edge that gives the HTC One. When it comes to connectivity, it's kind of a wash. Both phones support 42 megabit HSPA, as well as 4G LTE. On the Wi-Fi side, the HTC One supports the new 802.11ac Wi-Fi standard, uh, which is a bonus if you want to connect to super fast Wi-Fi networks. On the software side, both running Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean, Sony has more of a traditional Android UI with on-screen buttons, a dedicated multitasking key, and easy access to Google Now through the swipe up shortcut. Being a Sony phone, you also get all your various Sony services preloaded. The HTC One is a bit more unique, and there are two capacitive keys down below, and the Sense 5 UI is a little further removed from vanilla Android. There's a home screen experience based around Blinkfeed newsfeed page, as well as a redesigned app drawer, and for multitasking, you have to double tap the home key. So Sony is definitely closer to the stock Google experience, but Sense 5 is more responsive with absolutely no lag and perhaps a bit more user-friendly uh, than the stock minimalist Sony UI. Camera quality is a mixed bag and it's difficult to tell which is the clear winner between the two. HTC is using its ultra pixel sensor which outputs images at 4 megapixels but the pixels on the sensor are larger meaning they capture more light. Sony has a traditional 13 megapixel setup with its new Exmor RS stacked sensor technology. The Xperia Z's larger megapixel count means there's potential for it to capture more detail and images in ideal conditions, but in real world use the HTC One offers better low light performance, and the fact that it uses optical image stabilization means that it's better at taking steady video and dark conditions too. That said, colors in the HTC One had a tendency to appear washed out compared to the Xperia Z. Uh, on the other hand, the HTC One is better suited for macro shots, plus of course you've got HTC's Zoe shot capability and automatic video highlights. So they're both very different kinds of camera and it's difficult to say which one wins overall. Sony does seem to have the better camera app however. Um, superior auto mode is a good job of automatically switching between scene modes and enabling HDR when it needs to be turned on. The HTC One has a fair few camera options but you need to navigate menus to choose between them. So the HTC One scores important wins in key areas. It's got a great design and one of the best screens we've seen. But Sony's bigger screen and waterproofing are not to be dismissed. So there you go, quick look at the HTC One and Sony Xperia Z. We'll have more details in our write-up. Thanks for watching.